be comfy or at least be authentic in your awkwardness, right? People understand it's kind of awkward and it's okay. And if you make a mistake, sometimes it's fun to include that. Hello and welcome back to the Herbal Skillshare Marathon. In this session, we are going to be hearing from Caitlin Vliet, who is going to be taking us through the process of everything that you need to create video reels and shorts. She's going to be talking about how to import the video clips, what sort of audio you can use, what sort of things are trending, and really just taking us through each step of the way. So let's dive right in. Caitlin, take it away. Hey, it's Caitlin with The Herbal Circle. I'm gonna share a few tips and things that I've learned along the way about making shorts and reels. So short video content for your social media that is engaging and doable. First of all, a couple things to think about before you start. Uh, one is the orientation of the video. So right now you're looking at a horizontal orientation. That's what um, people use on YouTube. But for short videos, it's vertical. So portrait mode or you know holding your phone vertical to take the video. Another thing is keep it short. Even the clips that you record can be shorter than you think. Short videos are often you know, 30 seconds or less, people are scrolling by really quickly. You only need to show a short bit of what you're doing to get the point across. And um, it's just something about the art form, the media form. You don't have to record for as long as you think. And um, sometimes it's okay to take a longer video and then you can edit out and like select little clips from within that. But just something to keep in mind, it could be shorter than you think. And that's for the finished reel as well. The next thing is just to record while you do stuff, right? As you work, um, in the garden, when you're out for a walk on a beautiful day, whatever fits your vibe and your work, just remember to pick up the phone <laughs> or pick up the camera and uh, take some little video clips, take some pictures. Even if you don't end up using it, that's okay. It's practice, right? So how do you hold your phone when you're doing stuff and how do you get the angles and all of that? I have a couple little simple tripods that I use or you know, things that hold my phone. I also sometimes just balance it like in my shirt like this. I would show you, but I'm recording this on my phone. So, <laughs> um, but literally just like placing it here and kind of balancing it and it kind of gives a like point of view, like what I see as I do stuff. So you can see my hands and stuff like that. That's kind of a fun angle that I've been playing around with. If you can just, you know, record with one hand while you do stuff. It doesn't have to be high tech. Uh, if that helps you, great, but you can kind of record on the go and some people have a very casual style that way. Like um, the Black Forager, who's a great botanist and she makes like recipes with wildcrafted plants all the time. And she makes uh, short videos and they're always, I mean, almost always just handheld, pretty close in, very, very just as you go and casual. And that's her style and, and it's awesome. Like it's very engaging and people like it. You can also kind of, come up with things that work for you and then have that be your in your visual style. Another thing I've done in the past is just balance your phone on a shelf or something above where you're doing something for like a, a top down view. There's lots of ways to do it. Get creative and uh, try things out, but don't feel like you have to have a bunch of fancy equipment just to get started. As for coming up with ideas or you know what to put in your video, you can do anything. I think recording as you go in your life, in your work, uh, is a great place to start. There's a few things that people tend to engage with more or, or like more, like people love people, okay? So if you can include something of yourself on there, uh, that is great. People love pretty things, so like, one of the reels I made that did the best was just um, some beautiful herbs in oil and then like tipping it in the sunshine. It was really short, really simple beautiful, right? Rose petals and all golden in the sunshine uh, with a nice little piece of music. Super simple, but pretty and fun to watch, satisfying to watch, right? People also love humor and authenticity. So don't take yourself too seriously. Like if you um, are going to be on camera, you know, try and be yourself, try and 
be comfy or at least be authentic in your awkwardness, right? People understand it's kind of awkward and it's okay. And if you make a mistake, sometimes it's fun to include that. Like another one of my reels that did pretty well, I was, I had my phone balanced in my shirt to record in front of me and it fell out and it happened to fall and land face up and record me picking it up and laughing. And um, it was kind of just a lucky mistake, but I included that clip in because it was funny and real. And uh, yeah, people like that. So again, you know, allow yourself to be lighthearted about it. You don't have to take it too seriously. But if your vibe is more serious and professional than maybe not so much of that stuff, again, you have to just go with what fits your brand and your personality and what you feel comfortable with. So if you never wanna be in the video, that's okay too. Uh, just putting it out there, something to try. And really, no one is gonna judge us as much as we're judging ourselves. So, uh, you know, don't worry too much. So for editing, there's tons of different software that you can try. Feel free to look into that if you want to, but you also don't have to. What I mostly use personally is the editing feature in my camera app, so in with my photos and videos, and then also on just on Instagram. Whatever feels doable and even fun, perhaps, go with that. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little demo. We'll go through making a reel and I'll just give you some examples and show you a few of the features. So to start, you just press on the little plus button and then choose real. <laughs> and then this is all your photos and videos and stuff. I'm just gonna scroll back and find something to use for a little example today. So let's start with this video clip. So I just click on that and then I can choose how long I want the clip to be. So if I just tap on one end of this little like white box here, um, I can shorten the clip or lengthen. Maybe we can just make it like four seconds. We can also change the speed. If you see on the left here, there's a number sign, a number and an X. So I can slow it right down or I can speed it up. I can also add audio from here, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. So if I hit next, that adds it to my reel. And if I wanted to be finished and just use this one clip, I could just press next and then it'll take you to the caption area, etc. We'll see that later. But I want to work on it a bit more and add another clip. So I'm going to edit video. I'm going to pause that so it's not <laughs> playing over and over. So now you can see at the bottom there are all these little buttons here. I'm going to just encourage you to kind of play around in here on your own and figure things out, like tap on things and see what they do. I'm not gonna show you everything today. You don't need to use all of the features, but I'll just show you a couple things. If you want to add more clips, you can see that button right there. I'm gonna add this photo. So this is just a still photo, but you can decide how long you want it up for. So I'm gonna just put that up for like, one and a half seconds maybe. And then uh, I'll hit next and that will add. And we can adjust the length of our clips in here as well. So if you just tap on that, it, it comes up with a yellow outline and you can just tap and slide the end of that back and forth. So you can adjust that in here as well, okay? If you just tap and slide on the black part, you can slide the whole thing across. And if you see where that vertical line is, that marks a place in the video that you're seeing. Okay, and then if you wanna get out of this editing part, you just tap on the black. So let's add one more clip here. Okay, we'll add this photo this time. I'm gonna put this up for two seconds-ish. Right, sounds good to me. Let's hit next. If you want to move them around, you can just hit reorder and you can either delete them or you can just tap and hold and then move back and forth. So you change the order around. You can also add text. You can write something and you can change the font here if you want to. 
Um, you can change the color of the font. So see that little rainbow dot at the top? That pulls up different colors. And you can slide across to get grayscale and that. And then if you see that little dropper symbol on the left, you can actually pick a color from the photo, which is kind of fun. Now you can move the words around by putting two fingers on the screen at a time move them apart to make it bigger, move them closer together to make it smaller, twist it around and move it around like that. And then you can just press done if you're done and get back to this editing page. If you ever want to check what you're doing, you can just swipe down and it makes it full screen and swipe up and you get back to this. And then you can also press play on the left here to, to see what it's looking like or pause it. And for the text, this is the text here, this purple thing. So again, you can decide how long that stays up for. So I could, I could make it stay up for this whole clip the whole time I have that photo up. <laughs> so it'll pop up then, and then it'll disappear right then. It's nice to use the vertical line to decide where you want it because it will stop easily right at that spot if you have the line there. So that's a good way to kind of mark where you want it to end and then slide to that. Okay, so this sticker button, if you press on that, this is like um, in stories, if you've ever used stories, you can, you know, do little GIFs or images or polls or whatever. This is also where you add captions. So if you press on captions, there is no audio in this one. But if you were speaking in the video and you want to add the words, like, you know, when you're scrolling through and you see a reel and it has the, the white words so you can see what somebody's saying without clicking on it, without having to listen to the audio, that does that automatically. That's how you do it. You just press sticker and then captions. And that is a really good, like, simple upgrade. If you are speaking in a video, do the captions. It's great because people don't always want to listen to the audio. Let's talk about audio for a minute. Now this might get loud, so I'll turn it off and explain it if it does, but I'm gonna tap on add audio and try and choose some music to go along with this reel. Okay, so it comes up with this list. One thing to look for is this little arrow just under the title there. That means it's trending. So I've been playing with this a little bit lately. It's supposed to help with engagement and stuff. I don't know if it always works, but if, a, if an audio is trending, it might help more people see it before it's been used too many times. So you can see the first one planting seeds here. It's trending. It's already been used for 75.5K reels. So that's on the high end um, of what you'd want to use. Soho is probably, that's like too many too many uses already. Something to look for, but don't, I wouldn't worry about sticking to it too strictly, okay? And if you want to listen to what they sound like, you press the play button on the right, and if you wanna choose them for your video, you click on the title. <laughs> So I like that music, it's nice. So you can choose where in the song it starts. Discard that if you don't like it at any point. If you pull down, you can see the audio tracks. You can tap on the track, you can adjust the section there, or you can discard it, you can change it out for another song. One thing I like to do with my reels to just make them a little bit more satisfying, a little bit more polished, I guess, is to match up where the images or the video clips change to the rhythm of the music. Sometimes this takes a little bit of fiddling around. You know, sometimes you can see it. So for instance, on the audio track, you can see there's something happens right there. So maybe I would just tap on this one and make it go to that point in the music. And then I would press play and like test it out and see if it works. Let's just see what that looks like. <laughs> Okay, so that's not quite the place I would change it, actually. 
maybe there. And then maybe there. We'll see what that looks like. Nice. See how that just looks a little bit more, um, like it just goes with the rhythm. It's satisfying. It's not that hard to do. If you can get the music to loop so that when the end of the video flows smoothly back into the beginning of the audio, that's like an extra bonus, but that's not always possible. And really, these are like things you don't actually have to worry about, just things you can do, okay? Say we're done. You can hit the blue arrow there to go next, edit the cover photo uh, of your reel. So let's see, we can slide through and pick an image that we like from the reel, or we can add one from the camera roll. It's kind of nice to choose one. Sometimes they choose a good one automatically, but it's kind of nice to just pick a pretty still from it. When I'm done, just click done, and then I can write my caption here. If I like it, I can share. I can also save draft here. That's a few little things you can do while you're making a reel. Okay, how are you doing after that? Did it make sense? I hope so. I wanna say, if you're feeling overwhelmed right now, you don't have to use all the features I even talked about. Give yourself permission to keep it really simple. If you just want to add one short video clip for each reel that you do, and just use the audio that was in the background on that, that's fine. That's still making a reel, okay? So you can start simply and level up as you get more confident. You can keep it as easy and as simple as feels good for you. Simple videos can be some of the best. So don't feel like you have to use all the functions. Don't feel like you have to be an expert in this. I hope that this encourages you to kind of explore and tap on things you know just to see how it all works and find your way around and and learn as you go just try it out and go to your comfort level maybe just a little beyond okay and if you are exploring and you know trying to get to know the different features of reels and stuff give yourself some patience give yourself some time to just explore it and mess around without feeling like you have to be putting lots out it's gonna take some time to get comfortable with it and learn your way around. And there's gonna be glitches. Like uh, tech, you know, is always changing. It's always upgrading. And sometimes that means things stop working <laughs> how they used to. So it can be really frustrating, but try and just give yourself some grace and some time to explore it. And know also that like glitches are gonna happen you can usually find a workaround or it's gonna be not big enough of a deal to mean that you shouldn't post it or, you know, sometimes I'll post a video and then the captions stop working after a while. That's a common issue that I've seen on lots of other people's videos too. People understand they've seen the glitch before or it's happened to them. So like, don't worry if something is a little like wacky once you post it. You can always delete also if it's, you know, something that you're not okay with but uh it's okay there's going to be some glitches and just try and you know again give yourself time to learn and give yourself patience and give the software a little bit of patience even if it's frustrating like <sighs> take a deep breath you know come back to it later you can always look up your issue as well. So if you are stuck or you wanna know how to do something, you saw somebody else's video and they did something fun and you're like, I don't know how to do that, you can always Google it, okay? So there are tutorials on everything. Because this software is changing quite frequently, I like to look at the date that the article or video was posted. So when you're, when you're looking up a tutorial, try and find the most recent one because that's going to be the most relevant. If it's from two years ago, reels aren't made the same way anymore. It might be somewhat helpful, but it's not going to look the same as what you're going to see now. So just a little tidbit if you're looking up tutorials and I recommend it. Worst case scenario, you can always delete it 
and start over. And again, nobody's judging you as hard as you are. I hope that helped. I hope you're inspired to try making some videos and I'll see you around the herbal circle. Happy herbing.